Ya está en el ministerio de la gente, no es en el ministerio, man. Hay un grupo de ministerio que no tiene nada, man. ¿Qué es lo que se dice? Es como, hey. Es como, es una damn shame, man. No, no, you got it, brother. Let me bring this out, man, because this man. Because, hey, look, man, you you being disobedient, and brother, um, I got one, uh, you probably can um, get for me to back this up. Um, First Samuel chapter 15, verse 22, after I read this. Because you rebelling and, be, and being disobedient to your how about Shimmy I was shy is, is a sin, man. Okay, but let me pull this out. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 17, verse 25. Return unto Yahweh, but Hashim Yahweh shy, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and often less. So like it, and offend less. Return unto Yahweh, but Hashim Yahweh shy, and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less, man. Okay? Yeah, Be obedient, man. man. And just like I said, man, you're not if you ain't being disobedient, man, you got that precept, brother. You said uh first Samuel 15, uh, 23? 22. 22 con. All right, um, and Samuel said, Have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices. Oh, that's right. Con, you started up at 21? Con, con. Yeah, con, con. Go ahead, go ahead. All right, um, verse 21. But the people took of the spoil, sheep and oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed. All right, um, con. So this is getting into us when the Lord told us to destroy something, the people was taking it. And so, oh, yeah, so destroy Amalek. Okay, con. On to sacrifice unto the Lord thy power in Gilgal. Um, and Samuel said to have the Lord as great delight in the offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. You hear that, Israel? You hear that? Read that again, brother. You hear that? All right, um, I'm gonna start it over so they can say so they can hear me. Con. And Samuel said, Have the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices. As in obeying the voice of the Lord, behold, to Woo. obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. And right, so the Lord said, "It's better. It's, it's better to obey them. Better to be, be obedient than to send up your folly ass sacrifices, man." Okay. That's right, man. That's right. Rebellion, man. Hey, I was just about to get twenty three as well. I'm gonna get twenty three as well. Go ahead, King. I right, on um, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Woo, and that's Salakia, and that's and that's what we fighting for too, man, because the hundred and forty four thousand governed body is gonna be kings, man. That's right, that's right. Well, if you ain't being obedient to what your Hawabah Shimmy Hawashah told you, simpletons, you you took man, look, man. Look, man, we already brought uh, Matthew chapter 12 out, verses 46 on down, man. You, you, you're you uh, not considered a brother if you ain't doing the work, man. Just uh, if you're a shot, man. Okay? So, look, man, if you if you have any, if you butthurt or if you're going to be offended about this video, man, take it out with the Heavenly Father, man. We don't give a shit about your feelings, man. Uh, we right. already have to work, man. Uh, what, what, what is your excuse, man? You got, like I said, man, you got 10-year-old kids out here doing the work. You got 13-year-olds out here doing the work. What's your excuse, Jake? I'll wait. And then furthermore, it's, it's BS, man. Whatever excuse you give me is BS, man. I got a precept. Go ahead, King. On um, This is First Kings um, chapter 8, and um, verse 61. Um, Let your heart, therefore, be perfect with the Lord your power. To walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. Read that again. Read that again, King. That, that, I don't think they heard you. No, I don't think they heard me either, King. On First Kings chapter 8, verse 61. Let your heart therefore be perfect with the Lord your power to walk in his statutes and to keep his commandments as at this day. So hey man, hey, you gotta hey, it's commanded for us to keep the commandments. How can you not keep the commandments when you're commanded to keep the commandments? The Lord said, hey, go out there on the house and bow is. I command you this, okay? 